The illusion of mechanical soul versus quartz. Why we think mechanical movements have a soul and quartz watches are cold and empty? There's reasons why this perception became like that. Unfortunately, this perception is just an illusion. First, we have to understand the history behind this concept. In the 70s, Japan created the quartz watch beating the Swiss market. The Swiss could not compete with this new technology. Quartz were more accurate, they had longer power reserves, they were more robust, more efficient, and overall just a better movement. The Seiko Astron and the first quartz models were made with the same standards of a high-end mechanical movement. But then something happened, something very important that was one factor responsible for this illusion. Quartz watches were able to be mass-produced with extraordinary ease. Why would anybody would want to buy an expensive mechanical watch when a cheap quartz would perform better. And so cheap quartz movements were extremely popular. So the abundance of cheap quartz movements gave a cheap reputation to quartz movements. But in reality, there's very high-end quartz movements out there. Then the second factor happened. Because Switzerland could not compete with Japan in efficiency of high-end Japanese tool watches to stay alive Switzerland deviated their goal from producing tool watches to producing jewels. Well, we don't make watches, we now make timepieces. Watches that no longer had a priority to be tools, instead they focused on quality, refinement and expensive materials. Even if the materials had nothing to do with the performance or the function of the watch, even more some precious metals were actually less durable and degradable than conventional materials like stainless steel for example. Japan had the most efficient watches but Swiss companies were masters of branding and prestige. They used it to leverage their fine mechanical movements. One argument to promote this was mechanical movements have a soul, quartz movement is cold because this is not and well it's just kind of too perfect. So if it's too perfect, like a robot, you can't have soul. But let's see, do mechanical watches have a soul? I mean, we can argue that there is a certain feeling that mechanical watches provide that quartz cannot. The connection of the movement of your body with the watch. Well, there's quartz kinetic watches that do the same. So can those quartz watches have a soul? Mm. I had both mechanical watches and quartz. I used to think I need a mechanical watch to have that special feeling that I get with a mechanical movement. So I got a Norris Aquis. Later on, it started to act up. Sometimes it would not hack and I would worry for magnetic fields since the Aquis don't have any anti-magnetic properties. Just the feeling of an unreliable movement for that price, it just didn't feel right. Another thing was that I would wear it and the next time I wanted to put it on to go to work, I noticed it stopped. Ah oh man, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to set the time right now. I need a quartz watch and I want a high-end quartz. I want something special. So I got the Marine Master Professional. The overall perception of quality in the Marine Master Quartz was just better. All of a sudden, I felt like if the Aquis had a cheaper movement and the Marine Master had something more special, something with more soul. What? A quartz with more soul than a mechanical? Notice, the Aquis had a Solita SW200. There is 100 million watches with this movement. It's not in-house. It's ordinary. It's less significant than the Marine Master that is a one-of-a-kind movement. The Marine Master is a high-efficiency, high-torque, high-end quartz that was exclusively designed for this watch. The Marine Master simply felt of higher quality than this Oris Aquis that had a fairly generic movement. Besides any other elements, to me this perception was like that. The Marine Master has a professional ISO certification and I just trust more my Marine Master than my Aquis to dive. Since the Aquis is 300 meter water resistant but it has no certification. Another movement that I felt has more soul was my Oceanus. This quartz movement has a motor for each hand and moves on its own. And there's just so much into this quartz going on. See, this is the thing. Some mechanical movements are truly special and some quartz watches are truly special. But the real thing is that living things have souls. A mechanical movement is cold and dead physically. I mean, really. And I know about the artistry and the magic of a mechanical movement and all. But hear me out. If any movement is cold, it will be a mechanical movement. Quartz movements have heat. 
because they have an electrical impulse. If anything, quartz have more life inside. They have electricity, energy. All living things have energy and electrical impulses. The brain has electrical impulses, just like your quartz watch. Mechanical movements are just empty. So we have an idea that was a result of mass production. If quartz watches were expensive to produce and mechanical were the ones to be mass produced, then we will be saying quartz have soul and mechanicals don't. We gravitate towards quality and prestige. A quartz is not empty. There is quartz movements that are higher quality than most mechanical movements such as the 9F movement from Grand Seiko or the Citizen 0100. I understand the warmth of a movement assembled by hand that by the way a high-end quartz are also assembled by hand but the most real truth at the end of the day is that the idea that mechanical movements have a soul and quartz don't is just an illusion.